Well, I'm Ron Phillips. I'm an architect. I'm a modernist. I went to Hong Kong at the end of 1955 and was engaged on a number of major projects, the penultimate of which was Murray Building, one of the most exciting buildings I was involved with. One never imagined when a building was designed for office accommodation, it was going to end up by being a hotel. I think it's absolutely marvellous, and to think after all these years, and it's a lot of years, uh, it should be having a second life and being used for what it's going to be used for is amazing. This building is something special, it's going to be unique. Uh, one of the first things that uh, inspired us and amazed us uh, when we began working on the project was the uh, sustainable nature of the project. Uh, for a building that is um, over 40 years old, the approach to sustainability was revolutionary at the time and will be revolutionary now. The window is very specifically skewed to ensure that the sun didn't penetrate the building, but maintaining sufficient light, but at the same time not allowing the sun to affect the energy conservation. So if you can see now, um, and imagine that I'm, I'm the morning sun, um, you can see that actually the sun only ever hits uh, the concrete blade walls. At no time does it ever actually hit any of the office windows, any of the room windows. And we've celebrated that. We've taken the windows as they existed that were designed, we've enlarged them, made them bigger, made them perfect squares and offer the views of the city, views of the parks and views of the hills as well. And it's an interesting one, We're always trying to find that sort of the unique balance between nature and the city. At the lower levels of the building we have these three, four storey um, arches, um, almost equally if not more recognisable as one of the signature elements of the Murray building. We are working very closely with Fosters and Partners to transform the wonderful public areas of this hotel, to create bars, restaurants, event spaces for all the international and local clientele. We are also creating over 300 contemporary, urban chic guest rooms and suites for our captains of industry and leaders in style to enjoy. We've explored a lot of materials. Um, I would say to go for things that are natural. Um, nothing really is painted and um, everything is its own finish from leather to the most amazing stones you'll come into this hotel and it will look very familiar but at the same time look totally new the wharf group is extremely pleased to be part of the government's conserving central initiative which underpins the joint effort between the government and the business sector Mary Building has been part of Hong Kong heritage for 50 years and we're looking to bring it into the modern era. Our mandate is to protect and conserve this majestic building and we have spared no effort or budget to reach above and beyond that mandate. Being the latest luxury hotel to open in Hong Kong for some years, the Mary is set to become a gem on the international hospitality stage that Hong Kong can be truly proud of. The Murray is the pride of Niccolo, our new luxury hotel brand. The Niccolo Chengdu opened last year and is already the market leader. And we are to open in Chongqing, Changsha and Suzhou in the next two years to underpin our Niccolo brand. If Hong Kong is the pearl of the Orient, the Murray is the diamond of Hong Kong. Diamonds are forever and the Murray will also be forever.